The pandemic has been a strange experience for everyone. Imagine living through it while out at sea. It's what sailors on USS Gerald R. Ford have experienced. Alex Littlehales gives us a closer look at what that's like. New at six. Behind every person is a story. So I just wanted to do something different. Like I said, I was 17 at that time. Um, I was going to go to community college. Different paths and different journeys, like Francesca Fox, Operations Specialist First Class. And we made sure that we display that information to the proper wash stations. Or Scott Torres, Air Traffic Controller First Class. I thought I wanted to be a police officer in my hometown. But if a ship could have its own story, what would it be? Story of the Ford in one sentence. Uh, I've been using this word a lot. It's uh, resiliency. Shaping the way of the Navy. On USS Gerald R. Ford, thousands serve to help write its next chapter. Becoming a fully deployable combat carrier. To be more agile, to be more efficient, and it's going to enable the carrier strike group in its entirety to be more lethal. Through the COVID pandemic, the carrier has pressed on through 70% of its post delivery test and trials, like its first fully integrated strike group operations. The ship has continued to, to progress through its test and trials right on schedule despite COVID. Cases were reported as recently as October. Military officials tell 13 News Now extensive measures are in place to ensure the health of the crew. Crew cannot board without passing a medical screening, and sailors who test positive for COVID-19 are placed in isolation and transported off the ship as medical evacuation. So while the pandemic may have changed their day to day lives, their mission remains the same. It's been different for all of us. The only difference is the amenities we can't really do, like, you know, going to the gym or going to the barber shop. The mission still continues. Just trying to get the job done. Reporting Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now.